Hello. I'm going to start off this stream by saying that I have my ring light turned down very low because I don't want a headache this early in the day. But other than that, welcome. I have an important case to get made. Just remembered that I didn't post in any of my Discord. We are playing today with cheat codes uh, because I'm going to beat this level if it kills me. And if it kills me, I'm taking y'all with me because I ain't not going alone. But yeah, this level is just like um, really freaking hard. I, I'm just over it. Like, I want to move on to, like, the next level. Hold on. What is this? Mm. No offense to other streamers, but someone in one of my discords posted their, like, live now thing, and they're, like, Their logo is like a combination of like the Pittsburgh Pirates, Pittsburgh Penguins, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, like all combined. And that's gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hate sports. And I hate Pittsburgh sports. I'm almost, I'm almost done. Pittsburgh sports is so weird. People go... Now, I've only been to a few other cities in my time. But, like, when I went to New York, I didn't see people... I don't even know if New York has a sports team. I'm really dumb, so... But, like, when I went to New York, I didn't see people walking around in, like, New York's... New York sports team stuff 24-7... I've been to Columbus, Ohio several times. I don't know if Columbus has a sports team. But I didn't see people walking around in Columbus. I'm going to turn my light up one, one notch. Okay. That's better, and I'm not blind. Um, I didn't see people in Columbus wearing sports team stuff. But it's like here in Pittsburgh, like everyone wears like pirates and stealer stuff all the time and they're not even that good they lose all the time <laughs> and people go insane over them okay we should theoretically have unlimited health um judging by the way that health bar looks i don't think we do but we'll see i should have this level memorized We'll see. I might let this guy hit me. Is that your face, sir? Are you minding us our monkeys? I feel like a new slayer. Also. I think it's just weird in general to make your Twitch logo, like, a sports team logo. I don't know. I'm probably being Judgy McJudgerson, but there's something weird about that. I'm going to do everything like I normally did. I, 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 well... I should like theoretically have any other one. And if it didn't work, I'm gonna have to go back to the extras menu, which is at the like I'd have to quit go back. Plus I need to go upstairs because it's 
little bit too. Testing. Oh. I'm paranoid that my mic worth is talking to this. Oh, wow. Yes, theoretically unlimited health. I tested one of the cheats because there's like cheats for like in a, an arena mode where I guess you fight in an arena. Um, and like the options came up. I did not click them because I did not want to go into an arena. Um, but yeah. Maybe maybe the cheats didn't work and it's just like a placebo effect. And I'm just like, oh no, my health, no, oh, my health did go down a little bit. It's going down, but it's not going down that much. Maybe that's the, like, maybe that's the cheat. I cannot wait for when I can throw this. Let's be happy. remember what, what the menu items are. Hello to the one person watching me. I hit my mic. I don't know. What do I just do? I want to use that elixir. Great. I also don't want to drink. That's very upsetting. Okay. Okay, yeah, my health isn't going. It's like going down when I hit the floor, but when they strike me, it's not. Like, he just stepped on me and my health didn't go down. Okay. So that's good. I do have a cheat code for regaining my Slayer power, but I think I'll be okay. I'm more concerned with my health. He was like, he was rearing up, and I thought he was going to interrupt that move of mine, and I love that move. Well, that guy's almost dead, so I'm going to do that. Nothing like a brisk walk and a spot of semen slaughter to make a girl's night. That was easy. I think even without the unlimited health, I might have done okay there. Oh yeah, I have to go fight this. The gay thing. Maybe all I needed was the confidence of my conviction. Maybe I would have done better. <laughs> I'm gonna get burned for quite a solid. I'm bringing chocolate milk today. Yes, out of the soul of time. The health seems to go down whenever I fall, but like when people were punching me, it wasn't moving. So, wait, actually, we'll see how that. There we go. Wow. Here, let me scratch that itch. Leave me alone. Like double team. Save that for only fan. I would have been dead already had I not had full health. It won't do anything. I'm suing. 
I'm calling Josh Joss Whedon personally and suing. What happened to the days of invisible walls that you can look at talk over? <laughs> also, I'm obsessed with my hair today. It's just like it looks so good. I did a, a Gibson tuck in the back, which you can't see, but I used my new favorite dry shampoo, which I'm obsessed with. The fact that I have to start all the way back here is like really such a let. Oh, I think I can. Oh, go kiss daylight. I wonder if I fell off this when I died. Is that your face, sir? Are you minding some monkey? I swear we're gonna get this level. If we don't, then um Son of a, get away from me. I'll burn this Xbox to the ground. I wonder how much a classic Xbox cost. I got this for like fifty bucks. At a uh, at a small little used game store in my hometown. Where I got a lot of my favorite games. I believe I got this game there. I got Haunting Ground there. I got Primal there. Did I get Rule of Rose there? I did not get Rule of Rose there. I got Rule of Rose online and it was before it was like a that word. A cult classic game. Because that game's like 300 bucks now. Haunting Ground is also like really expensive, but I refuse to sell that game. I knew the time I would sell it is if they did like a well, I guess that would probably devalue it, but if they did a remastered version, I would sell it for the bucks. But I feel like that move should not be interruptible. Yeah, if I were to remake this game, I would keep it pretty much the same. I would just give them me a block button. Because she just has to stand there and take it. Yeah, my health is going down, but it's not from them punching me. It's from like falling. Actually, I have a bit of strike. Also, my contacts are giving me issues today, so if I like blink a lot or scratch my eyes, like, put a new bitch. I really appreciate how these two like coordinated their outfits, like the whole red and black. Um, that's teamwork. Of course, this bitch couldn't find a pair of leather boots that matched her shirt. I mean, they're red, but they're not the right shade. How's it feel? Well, that's one way to deal with them. I hate that move. Like, what is that little, like... It's like the I didn't know how to fight in high school move. I 
don't think he's dead. No, he's just sitting down there. But I did not mean to do that super punch for me. That was an accident. Now I have to wait for him to come back up here. There we go. See, they have a block button. They do it all the time. Now it's just going to be me getting my butt kicked, even though I have unlimited health. So it's just going to take, like, twice as long. Squawk and a spot of semen slaughter to make a girl's night. Wrong button. Nope. Also the wrong button. Here we go. I'm gonna play out the Xbox. I don't have too many Xboxes. Actually, I'm fairly certain that the only games I have for the Xbox are this and Eon Flux. No one likes Eon Flux. <laughs> Bitter about it. Um. I kind of, I've really been in the mood to play Sly Cooper, so we might do like the remastered Sly Cooper on the PS3. Um, I guess I'll play the first one. My favorite one is the second one. Um, Sly Cooper 2 is perfect in every way. This is really like upsetting. Oh, uh, that was just awkward. That was just like the most awkward fight. Okay, now I have to be careful because I did manage to fight this fish at least once in my non-unlimited health state, but she kicked me off. Um, I'm gonna let her. Are you gonna jump off that ledge? You gonna jump up over here? Yeah. I just don't want to get knocked off. And I'm wary to do any kind of flying kick or anything because I I just knowing my luck the creature will dodge out of the way and then I'll go flying off the edge of the dock, and apparently Buffy doesn't know how to swim. Which I find really weird for being a kid from California. They should make a new Buffy the Vampire Slayer game. Despite the fact that there's no show or anything, they could just make a game that, like, does what the comics did and just takes place after the show. Um, and it doesn't even have to be about Buffy, it could be about the other Slayers. That'd be really cool. I feel like, I feel like Sarah Michelle Gellar has a really weird relationship with Buffy the Vampire Slayer because she was on the show for so long and she mentions it like on her Instagram, like she said something about Buffy's birthday. Today, but I feel like if they did a show, she wouldn't go back to it. Um, oh, what? I would love to grab her and throw her in that corner. Well, that didn't do much. Oh, what, you don't like it when someone grabs you? That's sad. Guess you wish you'd stayed home tonight. No, I'm just pissed. That puts out the fire. I don't know why I'm worried about that. Oh, it shorted the door. Kill me if you 
if you can, Slayer. This is a rude combo, both of these guys. Like, I, I made it this far once. What was it, last stream? And it just got my ass handed to me. I have two such heavy hitters. I don't know. That's kind of rude. And this is normal difficulty. I could totally see this being under hard. But I, th I think fighting both of these guys under normal difficulty is a little savage. I used to have a Dark Angel game that I think was also Xbox, but I think I sold it. But the controls were like literally the same as um this game. Hey Bob, up here! Look at me! I'm a crane operator! Do your thing and send it down, crane operator man. It's clobbering time. Hey! What are you trying to do? Kill me? No, I'm calling my union rep. I don't know how realistic that would be. Oh, hello. Another hard day on the dock for a crane operator, man. Oh, someone tried to post a link. Sorry, y'all. Whoever tried to do it. I assume you were a spam pot. Hello. Do I have to fight this thing? I can't remember. It's like an armless corpse, so. The illness is never for good. Oh no, he does have one. One of them is armless. Curling? Sad. Wow. Okay. Oh, obviously. No shield means I can hit him. I have unlimited health, though, so. Now we kill one of them, and then I think something happens where, like, they still manage to, like, pull it off. As, of course, is the Buffy way. You know what show by Joss Whedon I really liked and I think everyone else hated? Dollhouse. I thought Dollhouse was so good. Yeah, and I love Eliza. Much, I kind of lost track of him now. Take it from the big bad man. Slayers, they're not so bleak and tough. He says, by the fact that everybody was so Buffy. <sighs> However, despite your incompetence, I have conceived a means of harnessing and amplifying the remaining dreamer's powers that should allow the aura to complete its mission. Mm -hmm. My plan requires the forging of a Deglon sphere using a mixture of steel and blood taken from the surviving dreamers. Even as we speak, my followers go to wrest control of a local foundry from its human proprietors. Now then, while all the important work is going on, the two of you will deal with the Slayer and her meddling cohorts. David Corey wants this look so bad. Even begin to stress the importance like, the Buffy looks really good, Giles looks really good, and Spike looks really good. Everyone else looks kind of like caricatures of themselves. And then it's like when they got to Angel, they were like, we're not even going to bother. I really wish they would have um, killed Crucilla instead of just writing about the show like they did. Like, hello. Oh. oh, we broke up. I have so many messages. I downloaded Uber Eats, Uber Eats like a month ago to take advantage of one deal, and now I get. Three million messages. Any crystal? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the 
vitality held within be now released, transferred to you. Ooh, wow, that was what a rush. Wow. Thanks, Will. Hi, Will. How you doing? Great. Better than great. Magnificent. Well there. enough that I'm tempted to add cuss words for emphasis. I hope everyone's having a good morning so far. I found a special spell of protection that should give the master a big old eviction notice. Get him out of Angel's body and keep him from going back with you. Yay me! Now all you have to do is find the master's new hideout. Oh, yes. Let it be known that Willow was not the only one who was useful. Let me guess. You painted your nails, went out for pizza, and pumped up your own tire this time. Actually, Cordelia was quite helpful. Thank you, Giles. See? Quite helpful. Looks like I'm doing all the hard work around here tonight. I helped Giles research those funky tattoos on the two vamps, that snake shapeshifter and the other I one really appreciate like Cordelia's character kind of growth in the show, Angel. Very well done. Animal aspect, whatever that's supposed to mean. I've only seen that show all the way through once. What is up with the vampires and the whole leather look, anyway? It's like they've seen too many movies and bought into their own hype. Gotta have the look, the attitude, and people are thinking the world of darkness a lot like Hollywood. I, for one, deserve an ice cream type reward. I was pretty impressive out there, if I do say so myself. And you do. Whooping that crane, fighting vamps, falling unconscious. I was a sight to behold. So, Buffy, what's next? More crane operation? Some Slayer patrol duty, perhaps? I feel so bad for her. Take this, Nick with Brendan. These new techniques will better prepare you for the dangers life. that lie ahead. I'm all about technique, but couldn't we put the dangers behind us at some point? What I learned. Clearing attack. Oh, good. I can use that in the last level. So, one down, two to go? Without the combined power of the three dreamers, the master should be unable to execute his plan. Well, that's very cool. If it wasn't for the whole angel being possessed thing, I'd say it even called for a celebration with ice cream. To be absolutely certain, the master's purpose has been averted. We must track down the remaining dreamers and destroy them. And find a way to exercise the master's ghost in angel. Yes, of course. And then the ice cream. If you insist. Now look. You'll have to track a member of the Order of Aurelius back to whatever location they've chosen as their new lair. Is that it? Bye, y'all. Oh, no. Get out my spinny thing. Here, let me scratch that itch. You think you can take me? Come on, kick my ass. I assume there are options. Hey, Cordy. You all right? Hey, Buffy. You blind? Do I look all right? She's fine. Trust me. Sit tight, Giles. I'm going to head out and beat the brush a little, see what scurries out. Have a care, Buffy. The <sighs> master may be attempting to lure you into a trap. Again? That trick never works. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Besides, there are other students in the building, and they'll need someone looking out for them. Good luck. <laughs> the Buffy animated show would have would have worked out. That would have been cool. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to ring your bell. Okay, I need you to get out of the way, kid. Oh my god. Oh, there's a scary vampire chasing me. Let me walk into him. Won't budge. Ain't gonna happen. Oh, shit. Okay, 
that. Yeah, this crossbow bolt in the janitor's closet. Um, Somebody call for help! Somebody please! Oh my. Ah! I, <laughs> I loved how casual her oh my was. Oh my. <laughs> you never should have walked into my playground. Here, let me scratch oh, that itch. Do this. Grab it. You know what? I don't know what why this came into my head, but you know what game would have made an interesting video game? Probably not at the time, but a Daria video game. Like obviously, it would be more of like a. Uh, a storytelling game would be more like something similar to like monster prom in a sense of like you just talking to people but i think that would have been really interesting or maybe like mini games of some sort um, but like yeah i don't know a diary of very windy Crack that one, the one that's not doing anything to me. I have to, oh. I didn't know I could behead these guys. But... Hi, you can see me talk. Where are you? There's no real reward for saving Holy water. people anyway. Don't leave home without it. Um, so I don't even know where that person was to save them. Hello? Uh, 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 what was that? Oh, they're oh they're making the day long here at the school. That's oh go kiss it. Miss Jones player. I wanna know what Miss Also I wanna know in this school, they always have the kids walk around on campus. Like maybe schools are like that in California. I don't know, but I've like never had a school that had like a high school I've never seen a high school here in excuse me. In in Schittsburg. That had like a, a campus. Music to my ears. So now I have to go to. Oh, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? I was testing out that cloud, that crowd hearing technique. So, are you going to kill me? Because this is getting old. He needs to just die on me. Where's the other one? Oh, I guess I killed it. Is there a girl up there? Yeah, there is a girl up there. Okay, come on. What is this outfit? What is this like blue leather stuff? What about packs?
You guys see what I mean about like the block? Like if I had a, a block, I think things would go a lot. I'm gonna check out down here. See if there's any secrets. I feel like this would be a good spot to hide a secret. I was right. I haven't found any crystals. Upsetting. Oh, there is a rake. I'm probably not going to use those. Where's a rake? It's a shovel. Do I want to set this thing up? I don't need a shovel. Um. Oh! They won't take my crystal. No, they're dead. Oh, it's only 11.30 for the boulder. Well, that's a pity. I might take a break to go fix my bug. This is like a brand new pair of contacts. I wonder why people still go to the school. So many die. Here, let me scratch that itch. Like, dude, I need you to like go somewhere and stop standing there. Come on, kick my ass. Yeah, he's dead, of course. I bet, you know what I bet? I bet if I had saved anyone, they would give me like help the souls. Yeah. Jump on the wall. Dumb shit. Very angry at this screen today. No. That's one way to deal with them. This is a box I can break. I'm fairly confident in that. Oh. Fun, baby, fun. I will take that. Yeah. Now, theoretically, in real life, I'd be able to search his corpse and take whatever gift he's going to give me if I had saved him. But I guess because we're a nice girl, we won't. What kind of school has like tunnels like this? In? I'm not even going to worry about that, man. Oh, his nipples pierced. That's cool. Since the 90s, after all. I have a very... What the hell? Yes, students, please don't explore the underground catacombs of the school that have a poisonous acid lake in them. Oh my god. Five Paul in there. Okay, well, I'm not dying, so that's good. I was watching a video today. It's really funny. So I watched this video on YouTube, and like literally five minutes later, my friend sent the same video to me. But it was all about upcoming farming games for this, well, I think for every console, but um, also the Switch. And one of them was a sequel slash sister game to My Time at Portia, um, which I played My Time at Portia. It was one of the first games I got for my Switch. Um, and it was cute. It wasn't perfect, but it was cute. Um, but a sequel would be really exciting. I have a feeling if I touch this Iron Gate. I don't know why. Jump him here. I need to power hit this bitch. There we go. Oh, I need that. 
Can we just be head here? Okay, that was really funny. Music to my ears, and then immediately afterward, will you please shut up, is um, very much something I would say. I'm trying to think what else is on this thing. My time at Portia, I think there's a new... Friends of Mineral Town or something. I don't remember. Um, but there's lots of interesting looking games on it. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, I think I'm gonna maybe do a slightly early ad break. This is ridiculous. Two of these things at the same time. On normal difficulty. Pitch. Oh. Four. I fall off this ladder. I thought they were coming for me. Just... So much for that crowd here. Don't have any... Yeah. Here we go. No, no. Fucking summaries. Shoulder which is in a very awkward spot. That was a beautiful jump. Oh. Come on. I don't know why I got the steak out. I thought it'd be funny to, like, throw the steak at it. But I forgot that Buffy has the grip of a two-year-old, so she just dropped it. We're doing this. I'm just going to kill you guys. Need, I don't have stamina to do like, the power kick that I have to do to snap this thing's spine. This is so awkward. To kill the like to finish those things off, you need to do like a, a power move and like snap their spine. And um I didn't have the stamina to do it. So it's just like me punching it forever and ever until we die. I guess I'll pick up this would not this My best friend. I'm very upset because the past several times I've gone to Target for grocery shopping. Um, they have not had the belt, the dark chocolate Velveeta snack crackers that I love, and I've been forced to get other flavors, which are good, but they ain't. Excuse me. This won't hurt a bit. But they ain't the ones I want. Another thing is that Buffy does not move with her moves. Like a lot of her moves will push the enemies back slightly. And she does not travel with them. So sometimes you just end up like punching air. It's like, oh my god, what? I have the Cthulhu. Oh, I just remember the other Xbox game. I have Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth, which 
is a um, pretty one in handy. I will take that, which is a very good horror game. I think we'll play that someday. Um, there's one part that I like constantly get stuck on, um, and it's very near the beginning, so we'll see if I can beat it. There's a level where you're being chased through this hotel. Um, I remember the name of this story that Dark Corners of the Earth is based on. Dagon, I think. Um, wow, I can't get any more potions. That's a first. Uh, but these men are chasing you through this hotel. So you have to like run through your room and lock the door and then run into the next room and uh, like put a dresser in front of it and then run into the next room and like lock the door. Um, and you have to do everything at like the right time. And it's, it's very stressful. But it's a really interesting game. I feel like it was a big deal for the time because to catastrophe, but Xander overheard two Aurelius vamps talking about a package in the boiler room. The exploding kind. How fun. They're gonna blow up the school. Um normally because you had no health meter, you just had to like pay attention to like how the character was acting to know what your health was. And um you had no like ammo meter, you just had to literally like count your shells. That was interesting. And if you use like, if you use like bandages, it wasn't like an instant heal. Like the character had to stop and actually like wrap the bandages like around his arm and stuff. It was very realistic. I thought it was cool. We all also your character could get addicted to uh, morphine, which was fun. Why did she constantly put this paper in there? Where is he? How am I supposed to be saving this kid? I can't even see. Guess what you did. Let go, Slayer. Let me scratch that itch. Hopefully, you'll have the common sense to stay dead this time. I don't remember how to throw. I feel like this is a spear, I should be able to throw it. Razorbacks is the name of the sports, like the local small town sports team. Like Mouth and Home, Arkansas, where my husband is from. Don't go there. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Won't budge. Ain't gonna happen. Oh. This won't hurt a bit. A monster in my game? More like. Oh, she dropped it. What? Buffy Summers dropped something? Buffy, grip of a two-year-old Summers? Burn, baby, burn. <gasps> what if I could throw a vampire against this, this American flag? Let's see. No. That would be great. What is up with these like tunnels under the school? Like, there's some weird shit. How many, what kind of potions do I have? Holy elixir. I'm gonna make another holy elixir. No, I can't. Wow. How rude. I can't get any of any more potions because I have like a million health. That's why. I made it seem like I was just like decked out with potions, and I guess I technically am, but. Sorry. 
I'm going to use all these real quick so I can use very like actual potions. Not that I necessarily need them, but maybe like next stream I won't use the pink powder. And I might need the potion. That's a fire stone. My sound cut out. Hey, look at that. I didn't blow it. I love how they don't explain how Buffy knows how to disarm the bomb. Come on. Give a girl a break. Showtime. Stop. First of all, you're wearing the same outfit that other girl is wearing. Yep. Slayer, come out from out wherever you are. Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to ring your bell. Oh man. There's stamina. Boom. Come on, your health is zero. You should be able to. Do I want a sledge? I feel like I pushed this button. Oh, boxes I can break. I feel like we should be doing that pretty soon. We have to do that break and fix my eyeballs. That'd be exciting. I managed to get everything done this morning that I had to get done. I got up at 10, which is only an hour before I stream, but I managed to make my lunch, do my hair, eat breakfast, all that stuff. I have to fight this guy. He turns into like a lion. <laughs> you face a truly worthy adversary. Yeah, you are. Alright, furry, let's go. Here, kitty kitty. She's like so not impressed with the kitty kitty. Hey, a hellfire bomb. No, thank you. Oh, she dropped it. Great. Here, let me scratch that itch. The thing about his battle is that there's no like strategy. Like with this snake woman, you had to um, get her in the sunlight. I don't know if it, if what I had, I can't remember what I had to do for him. Oh, did somebody interrupt the power move? That's upsetting. Hmm, what am I missing? Maybe I should just hit the hit button. Oh, 
nothing happened. So there's something that I must do to kill it. Uh, one thing that they didn't mention this is that Dracula, like the actual Dracula that you do meet in Buffy the Vampire's Hair, is a member of the Order of Aurelius too, because he can turn into animals, and not every vampire can do that. Turn into bats and I really want to throw this hellfire file out and see what happens, but I keep on getting this. There must be something I'm missing. And I feel like I can't kill him with sunlight. See, my health only goes down when I Brown like that. Here, let me scratch that itch. Do I have a stink in me? I can't imagine that I kill bats and Oh my god. I had to stake. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Bad cook. Never much cared for cats. More of a dog person. His spice face is really good for graphics like this. Sometimes the heart isn't in the same place. Got to be more persistent, Slayer. And sometimes you just need a longer shadow. All right, Spike. What's going on? Spill it. Excuse me, young miss. Let me remind you that I just saved your life. You can come down from DEFCON 1 now. I'm here to form a truce. You know, bury the hatchet, that sort of thing. We have a common enemy, you and I. And an alliance might just prove beneficial. Or have you forgotten all about your blood-sucking boy toy being hijacked by the master? Oh, I forgot to make it. Yeah, well, lovely to see you lot again as well. You're on borrowed time, Spike. Alive by our sufferance. Thought you would have skipped the pleasantry. Right, if that's the way it is. So much for manners, eh, Giles? Something tells me you've been in America too long. Here's the deal. A big bad old one by the name of Leibach is attempting to build a bridge between his tropical paradise of a demon dimension and our little plane of existence here. Walker he plans Wednesday. to lead an army Get of a demons for across gallery. the world. Leibach needed the master's expertise in opening dimensional mm. portals and the dreamers to alter reality and physically create the bridge to bring Leibach's boys over to our side. And you've been Aaron Boy this whole time. True. I'm about as keen on Leibach's little plan as I was on Anzalus's plot to let a cattle run amok. The main reason I'm doing this is because Leibach has Drew in some kind of trance. And if I don't help, he'll take her lovely, fragile dove of a mind and put it through a blender. But I don't like being a lap dog. And since the master's been back, things have gone from bad to badder as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> the master may be my great-great-grandsire, but the guy's a complete tosser. And I don't trust him as far as you can throw him. Of course, it doesn't help matters much now that he gels his hair. If you catch my meaning. So now you want to throw in the fact that I'm just supposed to trust you. You're betraying your allies now. Explain to me again why that should inspire confidence. Best reason in the world, Slayer. Because they're the bad guys. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, remember? Look, I'll lead you to the Master's Lair and lend a hand with the fisticuffs, and in return, you help me rescue Drew. Then we'll be off again, out of your hair. If I agree, you don't catch the angel either. We're going to exorcise the Master from him. Fine with me. But in that case, the Watcher and Little Willow here are going to have to whip up a special elixir or something witchy for me and Drew. In Casper mode, the Master has the power to possess any vampire of his bloodline, which includes the both of us, yeah? Willow mm -hmm. has completed a spell of protection for Angel that should work equally well for the two of you. See? And it would be no problem. 
Fred's got that mojo working overtime these days. So, it's a deal, then? I haven't forgotten what happened last time I trusted you. Double-cross us, and I'll put both you and your psycho flower child girlfriends in an Ari. Whatever happened to taking a man at his word? I'm gonna do. Actually, I want to do an ad break now. I was gonna do the talking stuff, but um, I'm gonna do a minute ad break. I'm gonna go fix my eyeballs, and then we'll be back. Did I even run an ad break? I hit the button. I don't know if it worked. Okay, it must have worked because it's all I needed to get. So, okay. Now I have to do some more talking. Maybe. I don't understand. I killed one of the demons. How's the master going to build this bridge? He and his chum Lieback are planning on creating something called the Deglon Sphere. The way I understand it, it's got something to do with amplifying the powers of the surviving dreamers. You'd better not get in the way, spider. I lend you my expertise in death and destruction. You lend me a hand and get my Drew back. Simple as that. Make sure that protection spell of yours is working. I don't want that ugly sod dancing around in the big bad's head. Tell you what. As a show of good faith, I'll take points and trounce as many of the guards that I can on the way. <laughs> What's the hold up, Slayer? I'm not sure I like this idea. Doesn't my vote count? This isn't a democracy, Xander. It's a slayerarchy. So you're a tyrant now? No. I'm the girl saving the world from the forces of darkness, which means if you want to help, you follow the plan. World, no world, hmm. Seeing the wisdom in the slayerarchy section. So, still feel the need to object to trusting Spike into saving Drusilla. Let's not forget, Drusilla and I have a bit of history. I'd hate for her to get the wrong idea or anything. Remember, she was Jones's new pretty badly for a while. That was because a witch put a love <laughs> spell on her. That was the funniest skit. So you say, but you didn't see the look in her eyes. I'm thinking it was more than magic that night, eh? Shut your gob for before I rip your throat out. Hey! Can we just go? I've been ready. What are you looking at me for? Really I haven't been enough for one night. I twisted my ankle. I'm bruised and battered. And I broke a nail. I'm going to have to sit this one out. And I am all broken up about it, too. Now, maybe I can go home and meditate on why <laughs> I wasted my whole night with you people. Did you bring back any crystal? I was a little busy, but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, <laughs> what a rush. Thanks, Will. So, you're set with the spell to get the Master out of Angel. Angel's probably fighting him already, but he's gonna need you to give him an edge. Fine. What do I have to do? Well, okay. It, it really wouldn't hurt if you, maybe kicked his ass a little. Y you need to weaken the master's hold on you. Hmm. I believe we need to augment your combat skills. 
Please study the techniques illustrated on this page. No, no I, I want the Reaper wing. Complicated way from our smash. Player sweep. You know that old saying, better the devil you know? Xander and I will follow close behind you. Back hit. I can leave the game. I hope I get an outfit change when I'm done with this pajama party we're having. Oh, I really want to. Thanks. I kind of got the weak way. Your strong suits, is it, Spike? Subtle or not, we're in. Stay close and wait for my signal. Oh, I forgot the Reaper Wing was in here. I can see that. The Reaper Wing allows me to throw that, um, this thing. Oh, I really lost those holes. Oh no, the bridge. Nothing in the upset. No, oh, don't pause. Kita is shook, yeah. <laughs> we recently discovered that you can abuse Hellhounds in the Buck the Vampire Slayer video game for the classic Xbox. Um, and now we're taking legal action. I didn't know you were here, Wisteria Prince. I destroyed that? Oh my god, a new box I can break. Oh, 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 it's like that. Well, that wasn't nearly as impressive as I thought. Can I behead you? Wow, upsetting. You just got here, how exciting. I appreciate this man's look, but... Wow, my power moves do like nothing, Chris. Oh, oh. At least could have thrown me out the window. That would have been pretty impressive. Ooh, holy water. Don't leave home without it. Imagine I had to press this button. Girl boss, yeah. Hello, beanie baby. How are you? Oh, a dead person. Where that bridge? Where that bridge at? What is she looking at? Oh, she's looking at this man. Oh, hey, I have a crossbow. Oh, he left. How upset. Let's go behind you. Oh, back, back, okay. Hello? Goodbye. Moving. 
the six years it takes, it'll take me to shoot that man with a crossbow. I can just come up and talk to him. Stuck on a wall. No, that's one way to do it. Bye. What's this? Okay, that's What's in the fridge? Box I can break. Crossbow bolt. Sweet. I'm good. Um, I'm glad that I got past the level I was stuck on, even though I did have to use cheat codes. Oh, daddy. Oh, god. Fridge is full of Narcon. Sometimes you do find stuff in the fridge, like a health pistol. Can you just die? Please, oh god. See how, like, the vampires get the ability to block, and I just have to, like, take everything? I feel like that one vamp that I kicked through there, I knew you could be back. wasn't having the answers. again. So I'm using the unlimited health cheat code because I was stuck on this bitch of a level. Um, and it's really interesting because it's like unlimited health but like with a catch. Like I don't take damage from enemies but I do take damage from like falls and whatnot which is weird. Uh, where do you guys get your clothes? Like, this is kind of a look. It's like, what are those things on? Life preserver sheet? Like, I don't know. Are you dead yet? No, he's down there. Guess you wish you'd stayed home tonight. She's looking at something else. Where do I? <laughs> you know what? If this was made by Terminal Reality, who made Blood Rain, there would be a cheat code for that. Because um, there is one in the first game. It's not as impressive, but in Blood Rain 2, there is a cheat code for bigger breasts, and um, it's really funny. Oh, a dead person. Oh, what do you got for me? Oh, the key for the conveyor belt. I need you to hit the creature like that. Ooh, hellfire. In a fridge. That's fine. Can you get down, sir? I don't know why I got out of space. I meant to get out of the pile of him. I'm turning the fridge. Oh, that worked. Yeah, if this was a terminal reality game, there would definitely be a cheat code for um like ginormous boots. I have to like try and you make me fall off this, I swear. I will fight you, but I will fight you with more secure footing. There should be a cheat code that gives her Daphne's outfit. Um, that would be funny. I think this came out before the live action Scooby Doo. That would be really funny. I have a Scooby Doo video game for the PS2 that I want to play, but I still have to work on getting my PS2 to um, function on stream. Yeah, that's one down. Music to my ears. This won't I like fingers that like this. Please. I'm like 13 frights of Scooby Doo or something. My friend Melinda played it and he really likes it. Music to my ears. I also really want to get the Golden Compass video game that came out in like 2007. Um, I wanted it when I was a kid when it came out and I never got it for whatever reason. Um, and I was talking to a friend of mine who's obsessed with the Golden Compass and also really likes old video games. 
and he was saying that he played it a lot and that was really fun and it's more based and it it's really interesting because it's more based on the book than it than the movie is which i find really cool so i'm gonna have to jump on top of this conveyor or I shall not yep cool any secrets is there any no god no heaven You. Music to my ears. Ooh. It's like four camera angles. Just... There we go. That's better. Die. This should disappear. Yep. Now we're now I feel like we're making progress. I really like we really were like stuck for the entire goddamn stream last time. Like now I actually feel like we're getting we're getting places. Which is good. I'd like to get my PS2 to work because then I can play the other Buffy the Vampire Slayer game I have. Oh god, oh both of these men. See, like his, him grabbing me didn't do any damage, but being thrown against the wall did damage. Oh, I really appreciate the fact that she stopped what she was doing to twist that. A charmed video game would have been amazing. Um, okay, this guy is dead. Oh no. Don't grab me by the... Yeah. Oh, if he throws me off this ledge and I die, that's where it's going to take me. Had I been at a different angle, I think he would have thrown me off of there. Okay, this little point is almost dead. Like, I'm really just over it. There we go. One point down. Now I just have the daddy to deal with. There we go. Okay. Took them all out. Yeah, a charmed video game really would have been cool. I have a charmed board game. I'm not going to use the sledgehammer. I feel like the sledgehammer as a weapon is, like, not a fun time. I was saying earlier that they should just do a new Buffy the Vampire Slayer game that just takes place after the show and kind of follows the comic books, and you wouldn't even need to follow Buffy. Like, Obviously, it wouldn't be called Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but because um, at the end of the show they activated all the Slayers, and then in the comic books the Slayers are operating around the world in like these oh no thanks and they're operating around the world in these like splinter cell military style groups, and so the game could just follow like a set of Slayers, or you could even make your own Slayer, which I think would be really cool. I'm like afraid I'm gonna accidentally fall off that bridge. Okay, despite the fact that I have unlimited health, I am going to use a potion. Because I do take damage from like the environment, which I think is hilarious. Oh, he's dead. That's right. Get off the wall. What do you think this is? I feel like there's a secret down here. Oh no, it's just a dead person. A secret thing. Okay. I love this thing. This is my favorite move. I just do it all the time. Not me just punching someone on the ground. I really like the new charm, but I was a little upset with the second season. I thought the first season of the new charm was really good. It was really fresh. Really different. I like their powers. And then it's like with season two, they like retconned everything. Oh wait, can I just throw you in this vat? Like wouldn't that be so are you going to kill me? Because this is getting old. Oh yes I can. Oh how exciting. Yay. Now I can't follow you. 
like you want this option. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Oh, another dead person. Wow. What's in here? Oh, no dead people. That's refreshing. They're coming out with a new Evil Dead game where apparently you like team up with your friends and fight like deadites, and it looks really fun. But I took it just the same. Just the same. I wasn't paying attention. I was busy talking. I really want to get the horror game called Made of Skier. I think it's out for the Switch now, and I'm debating if I want to get it for the Switch or for the computer. I'm sure the graphics will be better on the computer. I love Switch so much. Oh, I have to jump down. I am asking. Anything in here? Oh. And it'd be really interesting. One of the slayers um, in the last season of Buffet the Vampire Slayer was like Felicia Day. And I think it'd be cool if like they made like a comic book or something that focused on Felicia Day the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. That's not where I wanted to throw him, but we'll deal. Oh crap. Oh no, 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 I don't want you to climb up there. You'll climb up and then you'll climb into it, and then you'll die. I'm going to wait patiently for them to come to me, and I'm going to throw them into this vat and get rid of them. That's me. That line was me. That line is my whole mood every day. Please! Just die. I probably could have just punched and killed him enough by now, but I find that, like, using the... That wasn't what I wanted to do, but it worked. Starring us as the Halley Walls. That would be great. Um, I don't know what my power would be, because I kind of like all of them. I'm, I am a fan of just telekinesis. So I would probably just have that power. Oh wait, I have to jump on that thing. Um, I really like the reboot. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I thought season one was really strong. Um, season two was a little... It was just really weird. Because like basically they have to leave the mansion and they get sent to like this magical safe house in like Portland or whatever. And all their powers change. It's like, I don't, it's like the, the network execs didn't like their powers, and so they decided to um, just retcon them and change them all up, and it was really weird. I had to jump somewhere, and I'm not sure where I had to jump, though. That's where. I'm trying to figure out how to, I can't remember how the powers change. Um, the one girl, like, loses her telekinesis and gets something else. The girl that can stop time can't stop time anymore. like literally everyone's powers um just changed and it was really weird um, and like at the end of the first season the one lesbian love interest like she goes away and they didn't bring her back and they didn't really induce like a induce introduce another lesbian love interest until like the end of the second season and it was like too little too late Hey, can I, like, throw you into this lava and, like, just, like, get this over with? Wow, he just stepped on my boot. Okay, he's too big. I'm living for, like, the chain running between his nipples. I don't know if, like, it definitely looks like it's attached to his nipples. I can't. Yeah. I'm gonna, like, 
fall into this lava. I'd be really upset. <laughs> the fact that he said aw gee when he died. Um, this twink again. Are you raising the lava level? Is that it? What is this building we're in that just has lava? This is like. Oh, I bet I have to, like, jump across there when the time is right, don't I? Yep. What was I love it? Some games that aren't really about platforming. You have, like, three seconds to climb up before you get burnt. Really hot and you'll soon be dead. Am I going to get melted in? I never watched original Charmed all the way through. I got to about the season when they find the magic school and what's his name from the future is like the bad guy, like Piper's son from the future is the bad guy. And then I was like, this is a little weird. And I kind of stopped watching. Um, this looks like a door. Oh, this is a wall that someone's going to break out of. I think, yep. Or I'm going to break into it, I guess. But... Oh, wait, I can just do this. Excuse me. Thank you. That was gonna kill you. I think Buffy ended at the like appropriate time. They got to season seven. You could kind of tell they were getting tired, but I think they ended Buffy on like a really good. Um, Note. I think when seasons start getting into like their sixth shows, I think when shows start getting into their sixth and seventh season, shit can get a little weird. Um, how many seasons does Supernatural go through? Eleven? Like that's weird. Like that's too many. Please fall in the love. Thank you. I'm just waiting for this door to disappear. If I fall off of this... Oh, God. oh he fell off of it. We love him. Is that a bottle of Hellfire? It is. I'm not going to worry about it. So my only two complaints about this game are... Um, the spacing between... Really? Trigger warning, arachnophobia. Sometimes in this job, I just uh, the spacing between the checkpoints is very far. Like um, and I don't have a block button. That's my only two. I'm just going to ignore that second spider and jump down this hole. You know me. Jumping down holes. Oh, someone followed me on Twitter. I have a feeling it's um, a fake account. Yep. 21. Top nude model. Always wet. Yep. And I got a spin. What the hell? What is this? What is today? I got some spam Twitter that followed me the other day, and they were like 16. Follow my own. Or they were like 16 years old. Follow my only. Spam. I'm like, okay, first of all, you're obviously spam. Second of all, why would you, even if you were a spam account, say that you're 16 years old? Like, what did you think? What's the deal? What's the plot? This, that has to move over there. I'm probably better. I probably have to go down there and try not to die. There's one of those daddy vans. Oops. Gonna try for you, little girl. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god, the twink. Oh, I doubt the twink. If I never see another vampire, it'll be And I dealt with the daddy. No, no, I didn't. No, I did. That was funny. I thought he was beheaded. I thought I had beheaded him. I 
but his head was just on fire. So, well, get this. No, I flip this though. Is it that easy? That was weird. That was like too easy. Yep. I always keep the lights off when I'm working with heavy machinery and vats of boiling metal. Conservation, you know? California. That's not where I wanted to throw him. I wanted to throw him into this pit of lava. I'm still like so curious about this building. Like, why is there just lava everywhere? Like, what Mario game did I stumble into? Please, you can't get in there. Good lord. <laughs> what am I playing tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Thursday? Oh, tomorrow we're playing American Geek Palace. Apparently, I'm going to need a plan B. Which, again, I'm also playing on normal difficulty and it's proving um, too difficult. I don't know what that says about me as a person. And then that first open, yes. Then I had to turn these off and go back in there. Got it. It's all coming back. Oh, oh god. Here, let me scratch that itch. I also really want to get my PS2 working. I really want to play like Tomb Raider Anniversary. Um well, I want to play like those three. I want to play Tomb Raider Legends, Tomb Raider Anniversary, and Tomb Raider Underworld because those are like probably my three favorite Tomb Raider games. I think they're amazing. I think they were really well done. Um, I don't love the new Tomb Raider games. I think they're fun. I only played the first of the new like edgy, gritty Tomb Raider. Um, and I thought the first one was really fun. And I thought as like an origin story from Laura, it was really great. However, the second one was like the same thing. And I didn't even play the third one because it just looked like the same thing. And I was kind of disappointed at the like lack of tomb raiding. Obviously in the first one, there wouldn't have been much tomb raiding because it was her origin story. But like the second one, I wanted more tomb raiding. Tomb raiding? Is that the word? Yeah, that was cool. um, And the third one just looked boring. I don't know. Um, I, I appreciate them. I'm not mad that they made them. Um, oh my god, get away. Come on, buddy. But, yeah, I just... Yeah. But I love, like, the classic. I think it would have been cool if they did, like, the first two of the new Tomb Raider games, and then maybe, like, the third one, like, shot forward a couple years. And she was, like, you know, older and, like, established. It was actually raiding tombs like that would have been great um, but tomb raider legends is amazing um and it has fashion and i love a game with fashion because you can wear different outfits um and an anniversary was really fun because i was like i don't know seven six or seven years old when the first tomb raider game came out and we had a playstation one and i did try playing it but i was but I was not good at it. Um, and it's really funny because my mom bought it for herself to play because her female friend told her that she plays Tomb Raider and it's very empowering for women, which it is. Um, but, like, if you know my mother, like, she's not a technical, like, there's no way she was going to play it. So me and my dad ended up playing it. I think my dad did. But I never um, got that far in it. I was a kid, obviously. A very small child. Um, but I had all of them, despite the fact that I did not play them like i always tried to play them but i was not at like the right child level to play them i don't know um 
but I really enjoyed them. I had like a bunch of Tomb Raider toys and like statues and stuff because I, I love Warcraft. Um, the one game that I, the one classic Tomb Raider game that I do remember beating was Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider Chronicles. And that was really interesting because it takes place after Tomb Raider 4 and everyone thinks she's dead. I assume I have to jump to that right thing. So it's like four of her friends telling stories about her and so you play through them. And it's really, and one of them you play as like Laura Croft when she's a child in Ireland visiting like family. And so it has to deal with like Irish folklore and like fairies and stuff. And it was really cool. And I'm like, where is this game? Like, where is like Laura Croft as a, as a teenager fighting fairies? Like, that was it. Guess you wish you'd have stayed home but that was really fun. And then I did, really? Are you serious? I was, I was like more than halfway up that ladder. Um, and then Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness came out, which was rough, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I did play and I got pretty far, but it was kind of hard to play. But I liked what they were trying to do. Um, I know I'm playing Buffy the Vampire Slayer and I'm talking about Tomb Raider, but just bear with me. Um, but Tomb Raider and Darkness, like, they tried to make it more realistic. Like, so, like, Laura couldn't jump, like, six feet in the air. But you could level her up and she could jump six feet in the air. Like, if you pushed something really heavy, she'd be like, my legs feel stronger now. And then she could jump higher. Um, which, I mean, is not, like, the most realistic thing. But it was, it was an attempt. Um, and that was really fun, especially because you get to break into the loot. She doesn't want to break into the loot. That hatch may be my ticket out of here. Sure, a dirty and potentially lethal ticket, but a ticket just the same. She gets it. Uh, and then what? We didn't see another Tomb Raider game for several years, and then they did Tomb Raider Legends, which I think was perfect and amazing. And I love it. This guy. Gorgeous. Oh my god, will you just leave me alone? And the camera angle changed, so I couldn't throw him away. I wanted to throw him. So they did Tomb Raider Legends, which is about Laura trying to, well, not really, but it, it starts out with her just exploring a tomb, and then it turns out that the tomb, she finds this, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that thing. She finds, like, a ring of stones that apparently were, how do I, I'm very bad with when she was little, her like nine years old, her plane crashed in the Himalayas with her and her family, and they survived. But as they were they were living in a tomb while waiting for rescue, and her mother disappeared through this ring of stones. There we go. And that's what inspired Lori to become a Tomb Raider because she wanted to figure out what happened to her mom. Later in the modern day, uh Laura was exploring this random tomb, not thinking of it, and she found like the same ring of stones. So that game is all about Laura figuring out what these Ring of Stones are and trying to find what happened to her mother. And it turns out that the Ring of Stones are connected to Excalibur, the old legendary sword Excalibur. So that's fun. And then the second game in that series is Tomb Raider Anniversary, which was a reboot, remaster of the first game of Tomb Raider. And they tied it into Tomb Raider Legends very well. Like, they did a very good job. But it was really fun to play the first game again. And then Tomb Raider Underworld is the third game, and it ties all three of them together. And that's about Laura continuing her journey to find her mother. Um, and she has to go to the Norse Underworld. And you find out that, like, all of them were all connected. Like, so Avalon, you know, from, like, Arthurian legend, is the same thing as, like, the Norse Underworld. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. So in... in Really. Um, in Tomb Raider Legends, you do get the ability to wield Excalibur at one point, which is really cool. And then in Tomb Raider Underworld, you actually get to wield Thor's hammer. And it's amazing. And then the DLC for Tomb Raider Underworld is like the most perfect thing ever. 
chef's kiss. Whoever designed that DLC. I'm gonna get off this ledge before I there we go. Oh, go kiss daylight. Please call me a bitch. Oh, wow. Teleportation. Love it. See, yeah, like, they have this move where they can block and just not take any damage. And that's, like... Kind of fresh to see, like, I'm just here taking it. I keep accidentally doing that move, which I just find hilarious. You never should have walked into my playground. And he's telling me to bleed as if I'm not the one kicking uh, his butt. Excuse me. This power kick to the balls. Talk about priority when you still help me out with Druid right off. I'm not going to forget that. Time to go play hero. Not to be good for a laugh, eh? <laughs> like your lover, then, you are gifted with remarkable endurance. That does not make you a warrior. Don't you see that you cannot win? In this battle, <laughs> oh, here oh, you oh, are. Perfect timing. Oh, but what about the result? I will survive. Know what, Spanky? Even if I was fighting this battle alone, I'd take that bet. But the thing is, I'm not alone. So oh, interesting, the black eyes. I didn't think Willow did the black eye magic thing until seasons later. Glad to see you're in one piece, Slayer. I wouldn't want to be accused of not holding up my end of the bargain. And you. I had enough of Angelus and Dala ordering me about in my day. Did you honestly think you could knock me about like some bloody village idiot, hold my girl for ransom, and not be watching your back? Spike, betrayer. You're not as pleasing to the eye. You're Can't remember what happens the next. Of my vessel until my plans are completed. That was funny. Yeah, Just flies away. Doesn't master. doesn't try to do anything. He sent them away with the Dagon spear. They've gone back to the sunken church. You have to stop them. Then it isn't over. It's over for us. I held up my end. Now it's time for Drew and me to be on our way. We don't fancy waiting around for the order of Aurelius. Wisteria Prince, are you still watching? I have a game I think you should play. Not to worry, Slayer. Drew and I have better things to do. <laughs> It's called Spirit Bearer. Very good riddance to this. Highly recommend. Very relaxing. Yeah, you should play Spirit Bearer. I think you would enjoy it. Very cute. I think they have an update coming soon. But it's really it's a very, very cute. For a second I thought Xander was shirtless. All right, now we have to talk to everyone. Buffy, let me have the Reaper blade. Oh, thank God. With the Reaper wing attached, the weapon is far more effective, much more than a mere blade. Simply throw the blade, and it will scythe through the air. It's super fun. I want to play it again. I'm like upset because I'm never going to be able to play it for the first time again, and like the first time you play it is like amazing. But I do want to start a new game. There's more actually. 
when thrown, if the blade strikes anything other than demon flesh, it'll temporarily ghost out of this reality. In other words, it will pass through any other form of solid matter without causing damage to it or the blade. So what you're saying is, don't fear the Reaper. Yes, <laughs> in a manner of speaking. So simple. If oh. Cecilia could use it. I love the Reaper blade. Now that I can throw it, How can amazing. the Master still be running things if he's just a ghost now? I thought when Willow Magic came out of Angel, that'd be the end of it. Unfortunately, it seems the spell that was used to draw his essence to this plane was powerful enough that he does not require a host shell. So how do we take him down? I'm sorry to say that it appears in order to truly defeat the Master, we must first restore him to corporeal form. Wait, give him back a body? Not find him another host, Marty. We'll need to actually transform his spirit mm. into flesh. I think we're nearing the end of this. I hate like the sound of that. Well, while you enter the church, the rest of us will perform a rather complicated spell that will temporarily restore the master back to his physical form. The spell oh, maybe is quite more tricky. The master will only remain physically manifested while the spell is being performed. Anything else? No. Did you bring back any crystal? I was a little busy, mm. but I did bring you a little something. By the strength of the emanation of Godoa and the glory of Hecate, let that of mine be that of thine. Let the vitality held within be now released, transferred to thee. Wow, what a rush. Thanks, Will. When you get inside the church, things might be kind of wacky. With the dreamer's power to I love how her eyes stay closed for so long after can't be any worse than that spell. No matter what happens around you, you're going to need to stay focused. To do that, I'm thinking maybe you should wear the necromancer's talisman. I found a spell that I can cast on it that, amplified by the talisman's own power, should guide you through whatever reality the dreamers create. Okay, we'll save Angel for last. How's your ankle? Really I think it's today. sprained. Thanks to that creepy screaming thing you got. I skipped a couple of steps. Xander, I don't like how you stand there. Making with the mojo. Stands like Mark Zuckerberg. Kinda excited about wielding the magic, but no more funky tribal magic. They ruined my credibility. Like you need help with that? Shouldn't we get on with it? This is already. Look at how awkward this pose is. Hey, are you sure you're gonna be all right? I'm sure. Oh. All right is. Oh, Angel, they did you dirty. That's what I'll do. They did your oh, face so yeah, dirty. Now you're all right. When it's convenient not to be evil. Oh, good. Evil. What should I be? So hard to decide. I'm pretty worried too, Cordelia. But it wasn't Angel this time. He was possessed by the Alright. I'm done here. I'll start the next level. What time is it? Yeah, I mean we can play ten minutes. And then I'll um stop. And then definitely I think next stream should be the end of this of this game, which is exciting. I think we will move on to uh Sly Cooper. Oh, more talking? No. If we are to successfully restore I'm gonna skip all this stuff then. Go Bucky, move. Oh, I can't carry any more holy water. Sorry, Will. Go on, Bucky. Don't worry, Bucky. Go on. Can't carry any more cross <laughs> okay, let me see. Can I um what do I got? Only elixir is regular elixir is hellfire. Yeah, it's not really carrying. Can't remember how to throw the damn creature blade. Oh, I figured it out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm, oh, actually no, I don't need, I was going to say, I, one of the games I really want to play on this stream is Primal, which is like one of my like top five favorite games forever, um, but luckily I don't need the PS2 to play it because they did release it on the PlayStation 4 store, so I can just play it there. They can't say the same for Haunting Ground, sadly Haunting Ground has only ever existed 
on PS2. Which I, they really need to like remaster that because that's such a great horror game. And damn. Oh, well, maybe I'll do. I don't know if I would make it like a let's play, like we do every part. But I do really want to play Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. That's so fun. Um, so I might like maybe I'll do that on Friday. Can't throw this dog, right? Throw it into these explosive barrels. Yay. I feel like a new slayer. Oh, this is why I needed holy water. It's like, why did they give me holy water? Dog and a twink. I guess he's not a twink. I don't know what to describe this body type as. I swear to God. Oh, God. I had to throw the reaper. Oh, it didn't behead him. Okay. Okay. Hopefully you'll have the No. That's rude. I think I don't think I'm far enough away for it to behead him. Pay attention, Quasimodo. I'm about to ring your bell. I might not know. Whatever. I wanted to end that in a very stylish way, and I wasn't. Walk in a spot of demon slaughter to make a girl's night. Oh, these depressed these in. I bet it's left. I love me left, right, middle, which is, I feel like is always the, uh, the case. Oh. I didn't have to press all of them. Oh, I'm not fighting you on this little, like, What is that glowing? Oh. The potion that I can't see. Come on, don't make me work for my supper. Let's go, Slayer. Don't. I want to, like, have one human survive this, so. Hey, I was just wondering, if Spike's the big bad, what does that make me? Give me something. My town. Oh. I can't even use that. How upsetting. Gives me holy water. What is this? Oh, shelter. Nothing. No, no. <laughs> oh, what time is it? I'm just going to call it a day. Um, that was hilarious, though. This is going much smoother now with cheat codes. Who would have thought? Um, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon, evening, with Alice. And then Friday, I'm not sure. Maybe we'll do um, Operation Raccoon City, because that's an Xbox, and then my Xbox works.
I don't know. I'm like wary about computer games because of how Blood Rain 1 was run. But I do really want to get to Blood Rain 2. I think we might just be done with Blood Rain 1 because no one was enjoying it. I just discovered that I can adjust the arms of my gaming chipset. Yeah, no one really liked Blood Rain. But Blood Rain 2 is amazing and it's a lot better. But tomorrow we're playing Alice. So thanks for watching everyone. I appreciate it. I think appreciate everyone for chatting. Um, that's it. Bye.